OK, thank you. Um, I teach a course, Biology 101. And last fall, it enrolled 220 students. This big group of people here is as large as many classes at Yale College. These are just the instructors for the course. It's two professors and 12 teaching fellows. And together, we are grading and providing feedback on 3,000 assignments that the students hand in during this course. And this is logistically daunting, and we use Canvas as our organizing tool to get us through this. One of the simplest things that we use Canvas for is just to just distribute course materials to the students. So here in this files function, we've loaded up a whole bunch of folders of materials, so lecture notes for every lecture, a study guide for every lecture, all of the reading assignments. Students go, go in here, download everything electronically. There's 180 megabytes of materials that students can download in these folders. I want to focus on our homework assignments. So students go into the assignments tool. They pull up a homework assignment. They get information on it, including when it's due, the date and the time. They click on this link. They download the assignment as an electronic document. And then they fill in their answers to the questions electronically. They go to this screen, they select the file on their computer, they submit it, and that uploads the completed assignment. And then our very favorite feature for this class of Canvas is SpeedGrader, which was mentioned earlier. So the teaching fellow goes in, just gets a list of the students in their section whose work they're grading. They don't need to download the files for those assignments. They just click on the student. And we get this preview window, which shows the contents of that homework assignment. And now, using these tools, the teaching fellow can go in and start marking up the assignment. They can write, you got five points on question one. Here, the student wrote something that wasn't quite right. The teaching fellow makes a note here, telling the student something. At the end, they can say, great work on this assignment. And then they fill in a score here. And that automatically goes into the grades function. They click Submit, and they're done. And I just want to emphasize we never downloaded anything. We never uploaded anything. And when you had 213 assignments to go through, that's a huge time savings. Those scores that we enter automatically go into the grades function, which creates this ginormous spreadsheet. And I know you can't read the details, but just to uh, point out how this works, every row is a student. Every column is an assignment. And then we've got a final score here at the end. And so here we're viewing all the students in the course, but a teaching fellow could just pull up records for the students in their section. When we set this up at the beginning of the semester, we assigned a point value or a percentage value for every assignment. Um, and then this system can automatically take those values into account and calculate a final score. And we use a complex grading scheme in this course. So for example, there are five homework assignments. And the students are allowed to drop the score for their lowest scored homework assignment. And perhaps you can see here in these first five columns, for every student, one of the scores is grayed out. And that's the one that Canvas automatically determined was the lowest score, and it got dropped from the final calculation. We can see here the scores for every student in the class. The students, the individual students, can see their own scores that we've entered. And there's another function that we love. Uh, so here's a detail from the grades feature. We pull up uh, specific details about a, an assignment. And while we're entering the scores and proofreading and making sure we did everything accurately, we mute the assignment so the students can't see when we, by mistake, we entered an incorrect score. When we've determined that we've entered everything correctly, we can go in and unmute the assignment. And now for the final exam, all of the grades are released to the students at the same time. When we have 3,000 scores that we have to enter, we want to make sure we don't make a mistake. And because the students can see their own scores, they make sure that we've entered everything correctly. We often communicate with our students by email. And Canvas automatically interfaces with the registrar's computer. So it makes these email lists here, one for every student in the course, so we can blast an email to everybody, but also automatically set up our email lists for each one of the 13 sections, discussion sections in the course. So the teaching fellow leading a section can click on one of those and communicate just with the students in their section. There's a new tool that was beta tested this year that we use called SignUp that we use to set up office hours. And we like, like that tool. So here we are. I decide that I've got three hours available tomorrow when I could meet with students. I go into SignUp. 
I tell it I'm available from 12 to 3. I decide that I'm going to set up half hour time slots, so it divides it there. I decide that I'm willing to see one student at a time, so I set that up. Now we have a little menu. I say OK. Uh, Canvas automatically emails all the students in the course and says, hey, Professor Cole's available from 12 to 3 tomorrow and there's some new slots available. They go in here, click on one of those. That sets up an appointment. There's then an itinerary that I can see on Canvas of all the students who are coming at specific times and they show up in my office. Um, we also use this to set up lunches. I have lunch with a group of five students at a time every Wednesday after lecture. You can set up a slot here that lets five students sign up for that time and it takes care of all the logistics. Uh, large courses, they can be impersonal. Uh, you'd like to be able to have one-on-one -on -one interactions with the students and this really facilitates that. Okay, thank you and I'll take questions. Um, in the sign up section, are those slots blinded so other students couldn't see? I believe so. So the student just sees that a slot is available. Uh, I can see who's coming, but they can't see the other students. You can choose that as an option, though, if you wanted to allow students to swap spots. You have the choice to determine whether or not they will see it. I have a question, but not for you, for the technician part, because I, we used to uh, grade students' homework online uh, on Canvas, but because it's uh, you know, written in Chinese, so now for some reason this semester we cannot see their responses, they're all just boxes instead of characters. Yeah, last year it worked well, but this year we cannot just you know, grade it on Canvas. We have to download it and then upload. So. That sounds like a bug. Um, <laughs> um, send us an email at Canvas at Yale, and we can work with, because um, we have contacts at, um, Can at Instructure, which is the company that created Canvas, and we can work with them to find out why these things are going wrong. So the more people who give us examples of courses where this is failing, the more they'll, they will have you know, something to dig into and research to find out why this is happening and fix it. <laughs> Any other questions? 